Hi girls, Sunday night. Something to focus on this week. One of the biggest challenges I think you will agree is falling back into older habits, previous habits. I have been following the Eat You Eat to Fit plan for two years now, but the habits still sneak up on me. For me, it's I don't just drink a glass of wine. I drink two, sometimes three glasses of wine. So last night, my husband and I went out and had a few drinks. This morning, this entire day, I've kind of just been like dragging and I'm starting to, not that I'm starting to, I'm recognizing like how I feel in the beginning of the week when I eat really clean and work out and then the weekend comes, and on the weekend, I have not been on my best eating schedule and drinking, and so I am recognizing that when I do not eat clean over the weekend, and when I do have a couple of drinks, like today, just the day is dragging. I am so blah, and I've, napped once i even tried to nap right now and as i'm laying there my husband's like you said you want to get on a treadmill so go on a treadmill i'm like and where's the pre-workout <laughs> so i'm making coffee to wake myself up so that's so that's something i want to focus on moving forward the best thing about eat you way to fit is recognizing and realizing what are your bad habits and okay maybe I shouldn't call them bad well yeah they're bad it's uh, alcohol is not <laughs> alcohol is not great okay alcohol is not great and having more than two three glasses or oh, four glasses of wine is definitely not healthy in general forget the diet forget the weight loss forget the weight loss it's just not a good thing right i don't need to tell you that part so that's something i am going to work on so you should start to recognize especially for those of you who are new going into week two well, i want you to start recognizing what were your triggers last week that caused you to eat something or not exercise because of that thing, right? For me, the kids always drive me to drink wine. The kids drive me to eat. The kids are my biggest stress in my life. So they drive me my old habits. I wanted sushi today. I wanted chicken wings today. I wanted anything but the eat you way to fit food because of drinking last night. I don't feel like exercising. I finally made coffee to go make myself exercise. For next week, for those of you who are new or for those of you who need to restart, refresh, hit the reset button, whatever, start recognizing what are your triggers. Because when you have these triggers every single week, they're really hard to break. And if you don't know your triggers, it's really hard to break them. The beauty of figuring out what those triggers are is knowing that that's a trigger. And now that I know what my trigger is, here I am drinking coffee, going to put my booty on the treadmill because I'm recognizing my trigger, the alcohol from last night. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think the best thing in getting to be successful, to lose weight, get fit, and be healthier is the knowing of the what. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Sundays is a meal prep day. So for those of you who meal prep or have not been doing meal prep, you should be meal prepping on Sundays. I try to make four to six pounds of chicken and uh, it's good for us for about three days. So I usually, I usually meal prep on Sundays and Wednesdays. So I make a couple of pounds of chicken. I boil, uh, forgot how many pounds of rice, probably like a pound of rice. 
because that's also good through Wednesday. And then I eat frozen vegetables and frozen fish. So meal prepping is really, really awesome to be successful with Eat Your Way to Fit. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Being here and we're going into week two. Hope you're ready for week two. I included a challenge for week two. Please recognize what you did last week and whatever you did last week, this week you will do a little bit more of what you didn't do last week. So if last week you only worked out twice, this week you should try and work out three times. If last week you only followed the meal plan two days a week, this week you should try and follow the meal plan three days a week. If last week you didn't eat breakfast, this week you should eat breakfast. If last week you only worked out for 15 minutes a day, this week you should try and work out 20 minutes a day, right? So every single do, you should do a little bit more than last week. But anytime you girls ever feel that you have fallen off track, there is no such thing as a track because we're not on a train, you are not a train, and you are not on a track. So anytime you feel like, oh, well, I had pizza, so I guess it's over and I'll start Monday. No, you start the same day. If you have pizza for lunch, you have chicken for dinner. If you have pizza for dinner, you have eggs the next, bre the next breakfast. If you were, were too tired, or too lazy, too whatever, and you didn't work out on a Monday, no problem, you work out on a Tuesday. There's no such thing as, I'm gonna start Monday. Like, stop doing that. Just go to the next day, next meal. Get that out of your head. You know what I mean? It really needs to stop making you feel that way because the guilt is just torture. And we're all human, we're all sick with life. Life is a disease. <laughs> we're always gonna have kids, we're always gonna have stress, we're always gonna have anxiety, we're always gonna have these things, we're always gonna hate our job, whatever. None of it is going away. That is life. The best thing we can all do is learn how to deal with our own S-H-I-T every single day. That's it. Moving one leg forward every single day. So there's no falling off track. If you were sick, I'm glad you're feeling better, and just come back. You had a cold, whenever you're feeling better, you come back. You know what I'm saying? You just keep going. You don't, whatever you do, just don't feel guilty, don't stop, and just keep going. Stop saying I fell off track. Just stop saying that. Stop. Nobody falls off track. There is no track. Awesome, you made it. I fell off track today. <laughs> you, you all are. I mean, it's a beautiful thing about Eat You Way to Fit is that we are all in this together, doing it together. There is no track. There is no wrong food. There is no, oh shoot, I cheated. There is no, oh, I had too much to drink. You know what I'm saying? You just keep going. You just. Mommy, today she ate lots of chips. Mommy. I had four chips, Mommy. thank you. Mommy. Only four, Mommy. not lots. <laughs> I just run 60 miles per hour on the treadmill. <laughs> Did you hear him? You ran 60 miles per hour on the treadmill? Yes. Really? You did. That is really... Yeah. I did a... Oh, the fume. I asked them to smell. Oh. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> we'll keep it going. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.